Details view control is another data bound control that helps us to display a single record at a time. When we say single record means it displays all the fields of that record uh, at a time. And it also helps us uh, to to manipulate the data or, or, or paginate the data so that end user will be able to navigate between the records. Now in this how to I am going to show that how to show a record using details view control in ASP.NET. So in order to display the complete details about a single record, you can use details view here. And let me show you how to use that. So first, let us uh, keep one details view on the ASP space. You can see that this is my ASP space and I am keeping the details view here. And uh, I am writing auto generated column, auto generated rows is equal to 2. It means that it will automatically generate uh, uh, rows based on the data source we have. I will cover that in, in greater details later on. And now let me copy paste the uh, code behind code. So here is my copy uh, code behind code and uh, let me just correct them out here. And uh, yes. Yes. Now let me let me uh, explain the code behind coding. The first line of code is basically a, a page level variable uh, called underscore con str, and we are retrieving the uh, web.config file database connection string into it and saving here. And then in the page load event, what we have done is that uh, we have checked if the request is coming for the first time means it is not post back then we are calling the get data method and in the get data method we are instantiating the data table we are instantiating the sql connection by passing the uh, database connection string and then we are executing the select statement in the real time scenario you should use the stored procedure and then we are using the SQL command and then SQL adapter and filling the records into the data table and that data table is ultimately being set as a data source of the details view and then we are calling the data bind method of the details view that actually bind the uh, the record uh, in, into the details view. Now here you must have noticed that I am writing select auto id first name last name age active from personal details. So let me run this page. So here is my details view. I am going to run this page. And you can see that despite the fact that this select statement will return me many records because I have a lot many records into the database. Let me show you this. You can see that how I have this many records, but it will by default show you the first record. You can see that Joy Ellen 30 is showing me. By default, it is showing me the first record. And uh, you must have noticed that uh, if you compare this uh, details with, with with the grid view, detail uh, details view uh, convert the column available in your data source to row. So here I have one, two, three, four, five column. But in this case, all the five columns is being converted into the row and I'm able to see the details like auto ID three, first name Joy, last name Ellen, age 30 and active equal to true. So this is the way to basically use the details view. Now, if you want to beautify the details view, then what you can do is you can go to the design mode and uh, uh, opt for the uh, smart tag of the details view click on auto format and you can choose any of the format that you want for example i am just choosing let me choose uh, hold on this format and when i will click ok and then save and when i will refresh this page you will see that my details view will come into that color so uh, details view is useful in order to show the complete details about a single record and now in the next how to view i am going to show how to paginate the details view currently we saw that we were able to see only one record into the details view despite the fact that uh, my my data source was returning more than one record so ideally we should have paginated it here so that user would be able to click page number one two three four and he would be able to navigate through the records but uh, 
that is not possible by default for that we will have to add some uh, more properties and event and I am going to show those properties and event here so let me copy paste the ASPX uh, page code and on my ASPX page code we have a details view you can see here and let me just uh, format the selection and let me tell you what is in inside this details view in the details view we have a uh, uh, first written allow paging equal to true that will basically uh, uh, give the page numbers from 1 to 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, based on the number of records we have and then we are handling the on page index changing event and on page index changing event what we are doing is that we are uh, uh, executing the change record method and rest all these codes are related with the CSS type and now let me copy paste the code behind so here is the code behind code you can see here uh, let me completely copy paste and then I will explain this code uh, please hold on for a while this and this and this let me just align them so that it will look nice and it will be easily understandable for us and yes now here in the first line of code what we have done is that we have retrieved the database connection string from the web config file and we have set into underscore con str variable and then in the uh, page lo load event we are checking for if it is not each post back then we are calling the populate data method and the populate data method as explained earlier I am just using edu.net code to retrieve the data from the uh, database and then we are setting as a data source of the details view and then we are calling the data bind method that will actually bind the records into the uh, details view and then uh, let me show you the uh, uh, page first so here is the page now because I have written allow paging equal to true so you can see that I am now getting the page numbers page number 1 2 3 4 5 6 now when I will click the page number what will happen is that on page index changing event will fire and that will basically call the change record method and in the change record method what is happening is that we are writing a details view one dot page index is equal to e dot new page in um, new page index and what is this e is nothing but details view page event argument you can see here e dot new page index and then we are again populating the data now what will happen is that when I will click page number 3 because of this method it will set the current page of the details view to 3 and then the record will be populated again that will basically give us the third record from the data source so in the same way you can uh, uh, navigate through the different records of the uh, details view.